Hey guys, so I have another skin tag video for y'all. But I want to also introduce y'all to a little product that I'm about to start selling. This is my Tabby Skin Tag Kit. And I want to show y'all how it's going to work and how you can apply the process to your skin tag. So I had a skin tag and I just figured, you know what? I want to share it with everybody on how to actually remove it. Now, here's the thing about this kit. You can find all this stuff at your own place in your own supermarket, but this kit just kind of helps you put it all together. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to take y'all through the whole process. And right now, this is kind of a, um, like a sample kit that I'm going to show y'all how it works and what's going to be inside of it. And I'll put the links in the description of where you can actually buy it. Uh, it'll be up by the time I get the video up. So I'm going to show you what the skin tag looks like. So that's day one of my skin tag. So I'm going to take y'all through the process with this guy, show what's inside of it, and show how it correlated to what happened to the skin tag and this journey of falling off of my leg. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, guys, so we are in the kitchen with the kit. And the only thing you will need is some apple cider vinegar. With the mother, it will say 5% acidity with the mother. That's important. And some alcohol to sterilize some of the stuff. And let's crack this baby open. I'm so excited to share it with y'all guys. So also you get a nice case too. That you can reuse for literally anything. First thing you get is some nice stuff. Okay, so some good stuff in here. First thing you get is a bottle to put your vinegar in. You get a funnel specifically made for small bottles to pour because that's not easy. It's really hard to pour a bottle like that. And you get four cotton balls because this should come off in four days. That's it. You don't need any other days. So about four cotton balls. And an emery board. And I will tell y'all each step as we go along. So first step, uh, first thing you do, is let me try to sit this camera up so it doesn't fall over. <laughs> That's the first thing we gotta do. All right, so the process of this is you take, I can see it. Let's take this off and let me show you what you get. Now I didn't sterilize the bottles. You can sterilize if you want. I didn't sterilize because we're using apple cider vinegar in it. And I figure it's pretty sterile by itself. But if you do want to sterilize it, you can before you start the process. But I don't think I will. All right, guys. So the bottle comes with a nice glass dropper. Let's open up our funnel. You just place the funnel in here. And that's going to help so much to pour the vinegar in. Man, the funnel works really good. All right, so now you get your emery board and each emery board is already packaged so it can be clean. This is a good heavy grit. They said it's 180 grit, so it's going to get there very nice. It's going to scratch that skin tag up. So let's take the alcohol. That's what the alcohol is for. Because you're going to be scratching up your skin with it, just take the alcohol, spray it down. And it dries pretty good. You know, might not want to put as much as I just put on there. <laughs> but this blot of paper towel. But this keeps it nice and sterile because this is what's going to be scratching your skin tag. So you want to make sure it's sterile. Oh, and a few more disclaimers. Always use caution before you try any new product on your skin. You might want to test it out in an area that's not really noticeable because it could it could be potentially problematic. Uh, I have not tested these bottles long enough to know what will happen if you keep apple cider vinegar inside of them. So use at your own caution. I also have not tested them long enough to know what will happen if you do not sterilize them. Use at your own caution. All of this is all natural. So it's not tested. But it is something that I enjoy using and something that works for me. Okay, just a little bit more reminders to always be safe. After that's done and your skin tag is super nice and scratched up with the emery, now you take your cotton balls. 
You can split them in half if you like, but you can, I would prefer if you use the full one. You shouldn't need that many. You take your bottle, you take your cotton ball, squeeze the top like this to suck in the liquid. You see it right there? And then just dab. You can use as much as you want. Take a couple of dabs. Take as many dabs as you need to fill this cotton ball up. All right. And this part that I can show y'all. You see this? Uh, full of apple cider vinegar. Press it onto your freshly scratched skin tag and hold it for five minutes. And then we'll take it off. Wash it with soap and water. Once you wash it with your soap and your water, uh, then you don't have to bandage it enough and let it, let it air dry. And it's best to do this before you go to bed. It's something about bed. I don't know what it is about going to bed, but it's like the body does a system check and it starts to heal up things. And in no time, your skin tag should look like this. Okay, and then after that, see, mine came off in three days. You might not even need four days. Mine came off in three. And then after that, your skin tag, you do the process again. I'm talking scratch it up. As messed up and kind of painful it will be, take it, scratch it up again each night. Put this, put the uh, solution of apple cider back on it for five minutes. Take it off. Wash it up. Uh, soap and wash it up. Uh, don't sterilize it yet with like peroxide enough. They don't need that yet. Uh, just soap it up and wash it with like a nice um, rag or something and then go to sleep. And next day, mine was like this. And so then you're done. Then when you're done, you can use another cotton ball or anything you like, a toilet paper or something, and soap and wash the wound because it will be an open sore when the skin tag is gone. It'll be a little open and raw. And then blot it with some peroxide. That'll be in the instructions too. Make sure you blot it with peroxide and then soap and water it. And it again, let it air dry. It should be fine. It shouldn't be bleeding excessively or nothing strange like that. And then that's basically it. Now, disclaimer, uh, this may not work for everybody. If you think that your skin tag is anything other than a skin tag, go to your doctor first. If you have any reservations and you're a little nervous, again, go to your doctor first. This has no guarantees. This does hurt. Um, be safe always and keep in mind that this is not FDA approved. This is taffy approved and this me just trying out my own remedy and sharing it with you guys. So be safe. Okay. And I'll keep, I'll put a little disclaimer in the instructions too. Okay, so that was the end results of how to remove a skin tag with my uh, natural home kits. Like I said before, you can find this stuff uh, at your local supermarket. And you can also find the other stuff in the kits uh, anywhere as well. But if you're lazy like me, you'll want to get something really, really fast. <laughs> and this is that. This is everything you need. You don't got to go anywhere else. You just can grab it. And the cool thing about this kit as well is that you won't have to buy another one from me ever. Everything that you have in here, you can reuse over and over and over again. So it's kind of a lifetime kit. It's like a lifetime supply kit. You won't have to ever buy another one from me. This is it. And you just keep refilling it. Just keep buying cotton balls and apple cider. And you're good to go. So it's pretty cool. So basically this kit, I want to make it available so that number one, uh, you can start removing your own skin tags at home and won't have to like keep you know buying everything all the time number two you can buy this ta uh, skin tag removal kit because you want to support your ultimate favorite youtuber which is of course me and number three because you are lazy and i'm lazy and we're all lazy and we don't feel like always going out to the store and getting this stuff and uh yeah i would love it. and also if you do buy it and want to make a video and tell me how it is or just write me in the comments i would love to see and hear the results of how it turned out so yeah that is it i'm really excited about it i hope y'all enjoyed the video and like I said, on my videos, I'm an author as well. Check out my books and the links back at my channel. And check out the kits and the links at the description box below.
okay guys bye hope you enjoyed it <laughs>